Hey guys, I'm Elegant and welcome to the weekly Poker Vlog. So this week, as you may know, we have lots of information to talk about Pokemon X and Y because we had some early scans from Koro Koro uh, this month. Usually we don't get them until a bit later, but we got them early on this time, probably because of the uh, information that we got. So if you all don't already know, we have four major bits of information to talk about, which are four brand new Pokemon for the new region of the sixth generation. So uh, the first one is a lizard looking Pokemon, it's called Alictero, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names completely, I can't say it right. But they are Japanese translations and we don't have the English names quite yet. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting them pretty soon, I am suspecting this week at some point, because the games are supposed to come out simultaneously worldwide. And since the Coral Core scans are actually a little bit earlier than when the Coral Core is released because of people, you know, ordering and um, uh, pre-ordering, magazines and getting them early. I would expect the information to come out worldwide about all the names in the different languages when Core Core is released later on this week, so we can hope for the names before next week. So this is another electric normal type, which is kind of a strange typing because we have not had this before. Uh, so it's kind of inferring that we could get some new typing combinations, which we were kind of expecting before, which is pretty cool. So it actually has a brand new move called Parabola Charge, which does damage to your opponent as well as healing the user. Kind of like Giga Drain, Mega Drain Absorb. So it could be sort of these, the um, like the electric type version of Giga Drain or whatever, or and it could sort of absorb the amount of health you do compared to how much damage you do, or it could be completely different and just do healing and damage at the same time simultaneously and not have either one like in reference to each other. Apparently it uses the solar power to convert to electricity energy or something like that. Uh, but the thing I found interesting is if you look at the actual name, I noticed this because I'm a sad physics math student. Uh, so if you take parabola charge, look at parabola. Parabola is sort of a name for a graph. And if you have data in a parabola, you have a normal distribution. So you get this if you're a math student, but if you're not, then don't worry. Basically, the word or the description of a parabola on a graph when you have data on it is a normal distribution. And so you get normal and charge, sort of another word for charge electricity. Uh, not another word, but related. So you get the normal electricity, completely uh, the exact same as the type of Electro. And I don't know whether this is a, this is probably a coincidence, to be honest, because it's all translated from Japanese. And Japanese probably won't have the normal distribution or whatever, they'll call it something else. Uh, so I don't think it's on purpose, but it does kind of relate to my idea I talked about a couple of weeks ago about multi-type moves, which don't quote me on, I don't think they're going to happen, I just thought it was a cool little thing I could bring up, because I like to bring up little things that come into my head, but don't, don't actually take that as true, I don't think that's true at all. So the second Pokemon is a Robin Bird Pokemon called Yayakoma, sorry again if I'm pronouncing them wrong. It's a flying normal type, so it's like the typical Pidgey, um, Talo and Starly kind of bird starter Pokemon. So I'd expect sort of three evolution stages. Now I know Taylor was the exception to that. Taylor only had one evolution, whereas all the other starter bird Pokemon had two evolutions of so three stages. Well, I'm kind of I'm expecting this to have three stages of evolutions. And it's a Robin because of the Northern Europe and we get lots of Robins in Northern Europe in winter, so it fits for that as well. So it actually has a move Flame Charge, so no new moves for this Pokemon. So the final of the main three that I'm going to grip together of the new Pokemon is, there's another one after, but the um, final of this group is a Panda Pokemon, which everyone's been getting excited about because it's a panda. Although I find that quite strange that they put it in France and Europe, that, that they had a panda in France. That's a bizarre thing, but whatever. Panda in France, I don't care, it's a panda. Uh, so this is called Yan Cham, Yan Cham, if I'm pronouncing that at all right. Uh, it's fighting type, although it kind of looks like a dark type, I don't know. It also has an move move called Parting Remark. So it lowers your opponent's stats as well as switching the user out, which is a very unique idea. It's a very good thought though, it's kind of like U-turn, but stats based. Um, I guess possibly Yan Cham would have to be a fast Pokemon for this to be effective in battle, so possibly going to be a fast Pokemon, uh, but we don't quite know. So the reason I grouped those three together and didn't add this other Pokemon into the group, because they're the sort of the typical Pokemon you'll see at the start of the game and you'll be able to catch and we'll have evolutions or go through the game with you, because uh, you've got the typical bird starter. The other two I think they might have one evolution, so under the stage, possibly not Electaru. Uh, I'm thinking more that the uh, Panda one, the Yamcham, will get an evolution. I quite like saying Yamcham now, uh, but I'll probably get an evolution. It's sort of like the Perloin, it reminds me of Perloin, even though it isn't dark, it just reminds me of that sort of stuff. 
Star thing and Mianfu, even though Mianfu is kind of later on in Pokemon Black and White, I sort of think it's the same sort of idea and have one evolution, uh, kind of like Bear Tick and uh, Cub Chew and all the Bear Pokemon kind of like that, so I'm guessing it's going to have just one evolution, so so the starting kind of Pokemon you get straight off, Lollipop and Bidoof and whatever you catch, Rattata, whatever, uh, but the third Pokemon, or fourth Pokemon, sorry, that's brand new, is a Go-Goat, and why this is different is it's a grass Pokemon, uh, so not a new fancy type combination, uh, but it's a grass Pokemon, and it's a goat, uh, but you can ride on it, that's the interesting thing, that's why we wanted to separate it, and it doesn't quite look like it's going to put itself right at the start of the game, because it puts itself in one of the main cities of the game, um, which I'll get to in a minute, but it's not quite in the same part as the uh, starter sort of root Pokemon. And you can ride around this Pokemon, and it doesn't show you if you can really ride around on any other Pokemon, but maybe it's sort of like Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, where you can selectively ride around only on certain Pokemon, uh, because you can walk with the different Pokemon, but you have to be cute Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl Platinum. Uh, but this could be of a actual application that, if you can ride in it, you can ride on it, but you couldn't ride on like a Pichu or something, because that'd be crazy, why would you set on a Pichu? You'd crush it, you couldn't ride on it. So maybe you could have like Sandler and things like that, or maybe it could just be Go-Go, and you could just ride around on Go-Go, I don't know. Another major thing we got from the Coral Coral magazine was the uh, full pictures of the two main characters. Now we've seen the two main player characters before in the game, but we've not seen actual uh, the actual official art for them before. So here it is, and we have them. But a, an interesting thing is if you look at the wrists, they, have, they both have some weird wristband with a gem in it, and it's not a watch, because, or it could be some kind of strange watch, but could this be the new Polka Gear, Polka Nav, Pokemon sort of thing? We don't quite know anything about it so far, but it kind of looks like this is the new Polka Gear kind of style thing, which is pretty cool. I don't think everyone, anyone's mentioned this before, but if you have, then I'm sorry. Uh, but it's kind of a gem. I don't quite know how it's going to work. It possibly isn't a gem, possibly just them. Um, I'm looking at it wrong. But anyway, a, a big idea that was uh, we had before was that you could customise your characters because looking in a mirror at the start and it kind of kind of reminded people of Sims kind of style thing. And people were right, you can customise your characters, so it's not as customisable as you'd like. You can't change the outfits uh, as far as we know, but you can change the hair colour, hair style, skin tone and eye style slash colour. Um, if you look in the pictures carefully, you can see the eyes are slightly different with the eyebrows in a different way and different facial expression and um, one of the female's hairs slightly more curly and poofy than the other two. So we also got to see a picture of the new region and the new region is the same shape as France so we can sort of presume that the whole region is based off France. I know there was a lot of speculation before saying that it's going to be the whole of Europe. Uh, but it kind of looks like France mainly. Maybe they're going to incorporate some other ideas from Europe and whatever into the game, and they're going to have some like foreign, distant place in the region replicate some foreign, distant place. We could have like England or London or whatever in the north there or whatever. I don't know, but I, so far it looks like it's just based off France. And now the name for this region, in Japanese of course, it's not the English name yet, is Karos. And um, again, sorry if I'm butchering the name of it. And the main city, which includes the Eiffel Tower, the Go Go Ride, and all the main sort of things which you see a picture of, is going to be called Mayori City, which again, Japanese name, so we don't know. Uh, so we got the name of the region and the name of the main city. Hopefully, we'll get the actual names uh, in English later on this week. So if you look at these scans quite carefully, you might notice this character. Can't quite tell whether it's a boy or a girl at the moment. Can't see much of them, and it's only like one picture. Uh, but they kind of make you think of Arrival, because why would they feature this character on the main game and show the character that's... you got to presume that this character's early on in the game, because they wouldn't show later on footage of the game when the first information is coming out. So you got to presume this character is involved somehow in the start of the game. Doesn't look like a professor at all, I would be disappointed if it was a professor, to be fair. But it kind of does look like a rival, but even though we already have a rival, which we've seen before, maybe it's some sort of distant rival, like Bianca is, uh, because I know Sharon, it, it actually battles you to the end, but Bianca is sort of a side kind of thing. Uh, not in that way, it's just a side rival. Uh, so we don't quite know who this character is, but it does kind of make you think of a rival. And the final bit of information that we have from the Coral Coral scans is the box arts. So we have the Pokemon X and Y Japanese box arts, 
we can presume they're going to be the same for English and other languages, just with the uh, text being slightly different. And they're quite cool box arts. They've got the X and the Y in background, which is a little bit different from usual because you don't usually have the um, the, the name or whatever in the back, but I guess since it's X and Y it's pretty easy to put in and since it's not a colour this time it's hard to sort of reference a uh, letter by not putting that letter in the back of the case. So like I said in this whole video I've just mentioned all the Japanese translations of the names and I'm expecting to get the names later this week and the reason for this is because, first of all, Coral Coral isn't meant to be released yet, it's just the early releases to the people who subscribe, like I mentioned. And so I expect all the information will come out in all the different languages, but once Coral Coral comes actually out on the 15th, or it generally comes out on round of the 15th. Uh, so hopefully, like I said, we'll get some information for next week. But also, uh, Janichi Masuda, the Pokemon game director, is apparently appearing on Pokemon Smash, which is a Japanese kids TV show, which kind of like Koro Koro announces a lot of new information about po new Pokemon games, uh, particularly when Junichi Masuda comes on. So we are expecting some new uh, information next week. Generally, Pokemon Smash talks about the information recently uh, revealed by Koro Koro, but the fact that Junichi Masuda's going on it, and also they've said they're going to release some new information, we could be getting maybe the evolutions of the starters, more evolutions of the four Pokemon we've got given in Coral Coral, maybe some brand new information, new Pokemon or whatever. So we are hoping for quite a bit of information next week. Uh, so let's move on to the question of the week. So what do you think of the four new Pokemon, of course? Uh, of course I was going to ask that. But basically, which is your favourite out of the new four Pokemon? I mean, I kind of like them all. I'm not particularly like any one more than any others. They're not particularly arousing my appeal. Although the panda, I love the fact that they added a panda despite it looking kind of evil looking. I, I don't know, I don't know why they did that with a fighting type. Maybe it was meant to be a dark type. Maybe it will evolve to get the combination of fighting dark kind of like Scraggy. Although Scraggy has fighting dark from the first evolution, but maybe it will evolve into that. We don't know, but uh, I gotta say, panda is awesome. So my favourite, so comment down below. Thanks for watching, hopefully we'll have some names and information for next week. So I'll see you then.